Greetings. I am going to talk about something that is often overlooked, but absolutely instrumental in living a healthy and fulfilling life. Health and fitness. In this day and age, where technology and convenience have taken precedence over, this, over basic physical activity, it is increasingly important to remind ourselves of its significance. First, let's discuss what health and fitness really are. Health is a state of physical and mental well-being, while fitness refers to the ability of an individual to carry out physical activities without exhaustion. Both these terms go hand in hand and are crucial components of a positive lifestyle. Now, you may be wondering why fitness and health are so crucial in our lives. Well, for starters, maintaining a healthy lifestyle reduces the risk of chronic diseases such as obesity, diabetes, and heart disease. It also boosts mood, reduces stress level, and enhances self-esteem. Furthermore, it can help you sleep better, have more energy, and live an overall better quality of life. However, we must note that achieving optimal health and fitness requires a multifaceted approach and it involves regular exercises, a well-balanced diet, adequate rest, and stress management. It is important to emphasize this because there is no shortcut to good health. Quick fixes and fat diets may give you temporary results, but they are unsustainable and often lead to weight gain and health issues also in the long run. So, how can we incorporate fitness and health into our daily life? The first step is to set realistic goals that are achievable and sustainable. And as I keep telling, goals have to be smart, specific, measurable, achievable, realistic, and time-bound. So what, I, what we can do is, we can start with small steps such as taking a short walk or cutting out on sugary drinks. Gradually, these small steps can be turned into habits and over time result in significant improvements in overall health. It is also important to view fitness as a lifestyle rather than an activity or a goal. Find an activity that you enjoy. It can be like dancing or hiking and make it part of your daily routine. We are more likely to stay committed to activities we enjoy rather than those we don't like or dislike or dread. Another crucial aspect of maintaining a healthy lifestyle is nutrition. Consuming a diet rich in whole, unprocessed foods such as fruits, vegetables, lean proteins, and healthy fats is essential to support the body's physiological functions and maintain overall health. 
it is never too late to prioritize health and fitness in our lives. Every day is a new opportunity to make positive changes and by doing so, you can lay the foundation for a resilient, healthy and fulfilling life. Health and fitness are fundamental components of a happy and healthy life. They are not only essential to maintain physical well-being, but also to improve our mental health, decrease stress levels, and foster a positive mindset. As you go about your daily life, make health and fitness a priority by setting achievable goals, incorporating enjoyable physical activities, and consuming a healthy, balanced diet. In recent times, we have seen a significant rise in the number of fitness enthusiasts around the world. This trend is not just a fad, but it is a lifestyle choice that brings with it numerous benefits that aid in shaping a better version of ourselves. As a society, we have become overly sedentary and this lack of physical activity has adversely affected our overall well-being. With the rise of fast food restaurants and technology that caters to our laziness, it has become effortless to succumb to our unhealthy habits. Consequently, we are seeing a rise in chronic diseases such as diabetes, heart disease, and high blood pressure among both the young and the old. It is crucial, it is important to adopt a healthy lifestyle that incorporates balanced diet and regular physical activity. It helps in maintaining a healthy weight, but also helps in lowering the risk of chronic diseases. Regular exercises, not only re releases endorphins, but it also helps in reducing stress and anxiety levels. Especially during the pandemic times, it has become more critical than ever to take care of our mental health. Meditation, mindfulness practices can help in dealing with stress and maintaining a positive outlook positive outlook towards life. So how does one adopt, you might ask, a healthy lifestyle? It starts with, can, with small fruits, vegetables, and wholesome grains into your diet. So, and also cutting down simultaneously on processed foods and sugar. Health and fitness is no longer a choice. It is a necessity. So I am going to share with you some tips for health and fitness. This will help you. These tips will help you to maintain a healthy lifestyle, reduce stress and improve your overall well-being. Stay hydrated. So drink lots of water, at least eight to 10 glasses of water per day. So keep yourself hydrated. And eat a balanced diet, and that should include fruits, vegetables, proteins, and healthy fats. Your diet should include whole grains. So incorporate them into your diet. Reduce your sugar intake. So that is one step. You can start reducing. 
the levels of sugar which you are consuming. So try to reduce it step by step. Limit your alcohol consumption. Daily supplements will ensure you are getting all necessary vitamins and minerals. So take those supplements daily and as per your doctor's suggestions, consult your doctor, which is the right supplement to take. Getting enough sleep. Many people are not able to sleep because of stress. So at least sleep for seven to eight or nine hours per night. A good body which is rested will be fit. And you can also reduce stress and uh, by doing meditation or mindfulness. So many yoga practices or meditation techniques are available. So start practicing them. Incorporate yoga or other low impact exercises into your routine. And there is always an exercise which we enjoy, isn't it? So find an exercise you enjoy and also make it a regular part of your routine. Regular walks are helpful. Take them whenever possible wherever possible. And if you are accustomed to prolonged sitting, so you have to prevent that. So what you can do is use a standing desk to avoid prolonged sitting. Stretch regularly. And by doing that, it will improve flexibility. Good posture is very important. So maintain a good posture throughout the day. Good hand hygiene to avoid illness. So you should practice good hygiene. Taking care of your skin, of your hair and uh, maintaining good hygiene habits. And it, it will prevent sickness or illness. So spend some time, make some time for self-care activities. Give value to yourself. So what you can do, you can take a bath, read a book, listen to music, whatever interests you. Find a workout buddy to keep you motivated. Motivation and inspiration will help you stay fit. There are many gadgets available including fitness trackers. This will help you monitor your progress. So use a fitness tracker to monitor your progress. Set achievable goals. As I said again, goals have to be smart, specific, measurable, achievable, realistic, time bomb. So when you have smart goals, not only having goals, you should start working on them and also track your progress wherever possible, whenever possible. So take breaks. So you're working very hard, very long. Timely breaks, distributed breaks. So take them to stretch and move. So keep yourself active. Incorporate strength training exercises. So you have a set of exercises. So that should include strength training exercises. Consult your instructor. Get regular checkups with your dog. So this will help you prevent sickness and also check for any changes in your body system. Visit the dentist for regular cleaning and checkups. Wear sunscreen to protect your skin from the sun's harmful rays. <coughs> Use 
natural and non-toxic cleaning products in your home. Eat organic and locally sourced food wherever possible, whenever possible. Use a water filter to reduce exposure to harmful chemicals. Practice clean sanitation. Learn about mental health and seek help if necessary. Take steps to reduce your environmental impact. Wherever possible, use public transportation. You can walk or use bike and it also helps reduce carbon emission. Volunteer in your community and improve your social connections. Learn about other cultures and perspectives. Travel and explore new places whenever possible, wherever possible. It's an interesting way to keep yourself fit and also mentally fit. Learn a new skill or hobby to keep your mind active. So learning new skills or hobbies will also keep you fit and healthy. Spend time outside in nature. Nature is a great stress reliever. So spend some time with nature. Practice gratitude and positivity. Foster healthy and positive relationships with friends and family. Take care. So when you are cheerful, you also stay fit and healthy. Practice forgiveness and let go of so, something somebody has done to you, you tend to carry it, you, get, you tend to get sick or mentally sick over a period of time. So, don't carry unnecessary grudges. So, practice forgiveness. Listen to your body. Your body keeps communicating to you what shape it is, what are the problems. So, listen to your body and take care of yourself during sickness or illness. Take measures to reduce your exposure to air pollution. So that is important. So we should reduce our exposure to air pollution. Avoid polluted places. Get regular exercises to improve the health of your heart. Quit smoking or using tobacco. Certain things cannot be eliminated, but then it can be managed. So take steps to manage chronic conditions like diabetes or high blood pressure. And uh, many natural remedies, alternative therapies are also available. So you can use them for minor ailments on doctor's prescription. Use online resources. Many resources are available today on tips and um, information on health and wellness. Advocate for policies that promote health and wellness. It is a social responsibility. And by self-awareness, self-esteem, self-confidence. So you can also take care of your mental health. And there are support groups. So find a similar support group if necessary. Financial stress also creates a lot of imbalance in health, isn't it? So we have to find ways to reduce stress and that includes financial stress. Moderation and balance in all areas of your life. And that is one thing today, stress is a very big factor. Excessive usage, or uh, dependence, you know, on certain things affects the your life. So, friends have good friends. Friends are important, but not too many friends. That also disturbs. Enjoy your work. 
or if you don't like change your work so similarly money is important but money is not everything go for good entertainment clean entertainment and uh, good food balanced food so once you have this and also balance your work and life you'll be able to enjoy good health and remain fit i wish you every success so we have shared with you some tips on being fit and healthy thank you wish you every success in maintaining a healthy lifestyle and for overall well being take care prioritize self care and those small small changes will have big impact over time thank you